Hey guys, what is up? It is Mr. Rayguns here, bringing you guys another video, and today I'm bringing back COD Talks. We are on episode 6 of the series, and some stuff has changed, man. Last time we did a COD Talks episode, we were talking about like the Zombies House, and I think DLC 2, or something like that. But, here we are, and uh, I just got some classified gameplay in the background, decided to use the trebuchet. And, uh, there's a couple things to talk about on COD Talks, because if you guys don't know... COD Talks is when I talk about series ideas or stuff going on in my personal life and I just throw some gameplay in the background. So today what we're going to be talking about, starting things off, uh, my Super Bowl predictions for the uh, Super Bowl 54 I believe it is, or Super Bowl 53. And um, you guys, I usually do these once a year, but I do them at separate times. I do like one at the beginning of the season, one in the middle of the season, one at the end of the season, and then I that when the Super Bowl is coming up the night before, I usually tweet out or I make a video about who I think is going to win the Super Bowl. So my honest-to-God picks this year for the Super Bowl, um, the only two teams I see coming out of the AFC are the Patriots, because every single year they do it, or the Chiefs. And this year, I, I mean, I got to say, we're only a weekend, but I say the Chiefs could. It depends on their defense, but... Every time I doubt Tom Brady, Tom Brady proves me wrong. So I'm going to say Tom Brady, at the age of 42, goes into the Super Bowl. And he will play out of the NFC, the Saints. Um, and the reason why I'm going with the Saints is because, A, last year they got held out of the Super Bowl by the worst no-call in the history of sports ever. I mean, anyone who watched that game knows it should have been a pass interference call. Saints probably would have scored a touchdown and beat the Rams. Um, but I see them coming out of the NFC. The only other team I see competing to come out of the NFC um, I could possibly say, I mean, the Packers, maybe if their defense is good, but Aaron Rodgers has got to play better than what he played in week one against the Bears. I know they were at Soldier Field and stuff, and the Bears got a great defense, but first year head coach, I know Rodgers is getting close to retirement unless he pulls a Brady and plays till he's, I think Brady will play till he's like 45 until he has his next injury. Um, but I can see the Packers making a run for it, or the Eagles. The Eagles would be my other choice because Carson Wentz, if he stays healthy, is a top five quarterback, and there's no question about it. But my picks at the moment are Patriots and Saints, and I got the Saints beating the Patriots in the Super Bowl. And then I have uh, Drew Brees retiring right after they won that Super Bowl. But those are my Super Bowl picks. And other news, something I want to talk about as a possible podcast starting up was Soulbound. Someone recommended this to me. I mentioned this in a video before, and I have not yet talked to Soulbound about this. But I feel like it'd be something that he might be interested in, and that is a podcast about football. Um, you guys know I love football. I did one Madden video. I used to do a lot more Madden videos in the past. Uh, I started an Ultimate Team series on Madden 18. I did like three or four episodes and streams on it. Um, but aside from that, I haven't really uploaded much Madden. But you guys know I'm into football. I like football a lot. And so is Soulbound. Soulbound is a huge Steelers fan. I am a huge Bengals fan. Now... Right now, what do I think the Bengals are going to finish? I see them going 9-7, and seven, possibly 10-6, and six, because this team has looked the best that it's looked in forever. And I know we lost week one against the Seahawks. We played in Seattle, lost 21-20, to 20, had a missed field goal earlier in the game. And Seattle's undefeated at home in uh, September for the since 2008, right? So we stay competitive, and I think we can definitely pull off some upsets this year. Now, if Pittsburgh... Plays like shit like they did against New England. I could see us taking one game from them because they always beat us when we're at home. But I see us pulling off an upset about that. I think the Browns are overrated as fuck. I could see us splitting the division 3-3 this game, or this year. You know, three wins in the division, three losses, or possibly pulling off one sweep. And if I had to choose a team that I think we could sweep, I think we could probably sweep the Steelers this year because the Steelers just aren't looking that good. Again, it's week one, though, and the Steelers always turn it up late in the year. But that is just a prediction. Or, if not them, the Browns possibly because they got tape on Baker Mayfield now. He's not going to be the same as he was last year. I, I like Baker, though. I don't dislike Baker. I think he's a baller. But there's a lot of drama going on with Cleveland right now. And Cleveland just historically, when they have high expectations, they just collapse. But I would love to start a podcast with Soulbound. And the final topic I want to get into is Modern Warfare Beta. So I talked about this a lot in today or yesterday's video, but... New stuff has come out about the beta, and there's been a lot of positives and negatives being said. So, apparently, minimap is needed, like, really badly. Um, I know Birdman has been preaching about needing a minimap. I know Syndicate said before the game came out that he was pro minimap, 
and he's been telling developers to get the mini map in. Other than that, I think he's the only one who has said some to the developers to their face about it. Most of the other ones, you know, they get home and they make a video like, "Oh, you know, we need we need the mini map," but you know, when they're in their faces, they won't say shit about it. However, Syndicate has said stuff, so shout outs and respect to Syndicate for that. But you know, I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Uh, I'm pre-ordering it probably today. So I cannot wait to get my beta code and jump into the action when Xbox gets to jump on to the beta. Now, people are saying it's not a Call of Duty game. It doesn't feel like one, but, well, I'm going to have to figure that out for myself. Anyways, if you enjoyed, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Help me on the road to 550 subscribers. Daily uploading has continued. Shout out to Cody for editing this video. You know, like he always does, subscribe to him. I got a link to his channel down in the description below. Next video might be some Minecraft or a Twitch clip. I don't know because tomorrow I'm busy all day. But anyways, peace.